What is going on guys? Today we are doing an experiment in City Skylines which is called What happens if we remove all public transportation from the city and we just leave it like this for like 40 minutes or so? I don't know. Let's see what happens. So how are we going to go about doing this? How are we going to remove all um, how are we going to remove all this public transport from our city? Now, of course, I'm not going to keep the city like this. I'm going to back up the save and everything's going to be back to normal. However, we're just going to see how the city reacts. We have a fairly functioning city with over 300k people. So, yeah, what happens if we take all the public transport out? I feel like this highway is going to feel the worst of it. Um, like, judging on, like, where people drive and stuff I'm thinking that we're gonna take out our we're gonna have to take the tour bus route out so I feel like that route's gonna get fairly uh, like just anywhere in the city is gonna be bad I feel like especially the harbor area is also gonna get really packed I feel like the um, I'm just like trying to look around for really busy areas, but I, I feel like the highways are going to take the biggest tanking, I feel like the, because uh, I know like a major hub for like a lot of people is, you know, about here maybe, so I feel like this area might get a bit clogged. Let's just see how our city just reacts to this, so first I'm going to pause the game. And I'm going to just remove everything. We're going to remove trains. We're going to turn off all train stations so that they cannot. So we're going to delete every single public transport line in sight. And I'm just going to double check to make sure that we have a save file backed up so that we don't, you know, do this and then, you know, lose all our progress. Anyway, let's start deleting every single bus line in sight that one by the way i'm pausing the game because i want all of this public transport to just disappear at a moment's notice i just want it to be like you know all of a sudden like we just stopped sending out you know we, 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 we just stopped offering public transport um bus lines i'll be able to keep out of sight there's no like bus lines that, you know, come in from other towns. There's only inner city bus lines, so, you know, you don't have buses going up to those, you know, Renmont, Vermont, um, Canmont, you know, all those cities that they, or Springfield, or just whatever cities are, like, around Amsterdam, so the bus lines, we really do not need to do anything else. Metros are also really, uh, easy. It's going to be the train lines that I'm going to have to turn off all the trains. So I'm going to have to turn off all of our train stations so that they can't offer any more uh, trains. However, the harbor, I can't turn. I can turn it off, but like, I'm not going to because we've got to get it somehow. Then again, we should just stick to trying to turn off everything. Just turn off all public transport. This city is going to fall apart. Well, no, so now that all the metro lines are delete toast, it's now time to delete our two train lines. So we've deleted our two train lines. Now we're going to go to all of our train stations and we are going to disallow inner city trains. And then we're going to just turn off the station. Basically, that's what we're going to do. And then there's there's a car. We're going to, we're going to save the cargo trains. Cargo's got to get in the city somehow. But all the train stations are being turned off. And we're not allowing inner city trains to any of these stations. So this station's getting turned off by... Um, where are our other train stations? Here's another train station that we need to turn off and disallow when you're seeing trains. Everybody needs to get out of here already. Uh, here's another train station. Disallow when you're seeing trains. Turn that station off. Um, okay, 
any other train stations. We got one up here, needs to be turned off, disallow inner city trains. Uh, I'm having a bad, I'm having a really bad feeling about this whole thing, but screw it. Okay, this station, turn it off. Okay, we turn off this station. We did not turn off this station, so we gotta turn that off. That one's already turned off. Uh, we don't have any train stations here at all. Everything, all cargo, I mean, all cargo train stations are going to remain on. So those train stations will at least be, uh, how do I say it? Um, you'll at least be able to go there. Otherwise, I mean, you know, cargo trains need to get around and all that. Uh, that's a cargo train station, so we can't turn off that station. The harbor train station here is not going to turn off a harbor. That's a cargo harbor. The cargo harbor is going to remain on. We're going to turn off this ship. I mean, this. we're going to completely just make the to this harbor. You wanna drive if you wanna leave, drive. Like just don't bother me about it. Just get out of here. So alright, before we go on and move okay, yeah, alright. Anyway. Next are the are the harbors. So this harbor here is getting massive deletos, even though this is two ships. So now these two cruise ships are just gone. Yeah. So Now we need to just reconnect that and I don't know, put down some like hide and seek commercial here or something. And then where's our other harbor? This is a cargo harbor, so I don't think it counts. So besides that, do we have any other uh, harbors, like passenger harbors in our city? We do not. We just have the cargo ferries. Everything else is awesome. The bye bye. Now we got one more thing we need to turn off, and those are our two airports. So we just. So we now delete the airports. You know, we gotta make sure that these guys, like, definitely cannot get out of the RC. So. We have deleted all modes of public transport in our city. There is no way to get in other than drive or hitchhike on a uh, or hitchhike on a cargo train. But don't do that, guys. Just just drive. All right. So everything is turned off. There should be nothing. You should not be able to do anything. I'm not going to go out and delete the metro stations. That's going to be a bit tedious. So, all the lines are deletos, so now we must see what happens, I guess. Alright, so start the clock, 3, 2, 1, go! So now, of course, all, like, the buses and stuff are gonna have to leave and go do, you know, normal bus stuff. Mountain coaches now have to like return. That bus is already returning the depot. It's got a fairly long trip ahead to the depot. Otherwise, traffic is mo moving fairly freely so far. Nothing really bad happening, obviously. Wait, yes. People are just walking down to the metro station and they're like, there's no people in this one. But I mean, it doesn't count because, like, we don't have the lines, so. You know, they're just going in there and then they're just popping out, so. out of the metro stations. How are there 
here. I, I just do not understand how. Have we like not had the game working? Uh, all right. I know this is technically cheating. We should have done this before, but we have to turn off all metro stations. That's a deal. We must turn off all metro stations. That one's turned off. Wait, what the? Turn off. Just turn off all these stations. Like, come on. What are we doing here, lollygagging? I can't go for this. Alright, uh, that station's turned off. This station is turned off. I'm just making sure that nobody goes into these trucks. You know, we turn off all the lines, and now everyone's gonna realize that we're like for realsies here, that we are not just. We're just turning off all of these metro uh, stops here. So that you, you, you can't get in or anything, because apparently I can't trust people to not wander off into the uh, metro station, so we just gotta make sure that people just don't trespass anymore in these buildings. There's literally nobody. Okay, are there any more metro stations that I need to turn off for good? There are no more, I don't think. Is the one near the harbor turned off? That's not the harbor. That is the cargo harbor. Yeah, the one near the metro, I mean, the one near the harbor is turned off. Well, there's like no way out. Uh, there's a little, there's quite a bit of traffic starting to build up. Uh, we're currently at 71% traffic flow. Uh, I feel like that's just gonna get worse as time goes on as, you know, people now have to drive. Look, this guy's got to drive now. This guy's got to drive out of the city, and he's got to go the long way. Because, you know, you can't fly out or anything. you got to drive now. Got to hop on a freeway and get out of here. Wow, the highways are... Um, they're getting a bit busy. Mainly, I'm just worried about trying to get out of the city because they're gonna start getting pretty crowded but uh, I don't really think that you know this public transport thing is really affecting anything obviously that means we don't have any you know trains or anything but right now it's just not really affecting anything you know people are just driving away you know not any public transport we're keeping the toll booths, because... Then again, we probably should turn off all the toll booths. But, like, if we turn off the... We should turn off the toll booths, obviously. Because that, that could be uh, a main factor in a lot of these. So let's find all these toll booths. And let's just, you know... We gotta encourage people to go certain directions. So that we can, uh, with that toll booth, turn that off. Yes, guys, we are also turning off toll booths because the toll booths are affecting, are like an affecting variable, and we need to like turn this off so that people can be encouraged. 
and stuff. Uh, that tool booth, turn that off. Uh, turn this tool booth off. Turn this tool booth off. Guys, you don't have to be charged anymore. You just drive straight through it. You don't worry about paying anything. Just drive right through, guys. Drive right through. I don't know if I'm going to remember to turn off all of the tool booth, guys. So just let me know, although we are fairly far into the experiment right now, and, uh, that was definitely not every single toll booth, though. like, there's still more toll booths, like this one, I'm just gonna try to turn off as many as I can, and maybe we can encourage some people to, like, go certain ways. This traffic's definitely gonna increase. Oh, this... Wait, no, no, no. But it'll increase now, now that I turn it off. Both of these tokens are off, right? Okay, both of those are off. Meaning that nobody's getting charged through here. Nobody should be getting charged. Absolutely nobody. If somebody's getting charged, come and let me know, and I'll settle it. Wow. Our population is increasing severely, even though we, like, have no public transport whatsoever in this city. There's not even a way in. You have to drive or something, because there's just no way in. So, I'm just wondering, because I I know that, like, when you take away, when you take away, when you take away certain things, it's like, alright, screw you, you're not getting water to your house, because we're going to reload the save, and, you know, you're not going to have enough water, so we can't really change any of that. We should have a toll booth on this highway, but I can't do that now because, like, it's too late. It's too late now. The save is, is you know, not gonna be permanent, so just gotta deal with it, guys. Let's double check it because, like, traffic used to be at 71 or, or something, and now it's at 72, meaning it's better. After we took all the buses off and all that, it's like, our city isn't even affected, like, people are now driving down our highways, of course, I'm just worried about, like, because I know we had, like, a lot of bus lines that were, like, traversing this stretch of highway, so I'm just wondering how that's gonna handle against it, because now everyone's gonna be driving, so there should be, like, more cars on the road now, because now everyone's gotta drive wherever they gotta go, whether they gotta go work, wherever. While they're, you know, building that rocket, you know, shouldn't be too big of an issue. So back then, it was like, you know, not a lot of people were driving, and now literally everybody is driving. Normally, there's just no cars on this, because everyone just takes public transport. Barely anyone drives in our city. But, like, now, you just start to see the effect. Like, there's just so many more cars driving on this highway now than there were. And, like, we're not, that's, we're not, we're not seeing the end of it. Oh, wow, traffic going back to 71. I feel like this is going to be a really just slow and grinding process, and we're really not going to see any effects till like, the very end. Cars. Although we should be seeing more like private cars. See, yeah, private vehicles are through the roof. We gotta check that to the control. Which I forgot to check the control, so we'll check the control group when we get back to the uh, to the original city. So many more private cars are now driving. It's like everyone's hitting the road. 
How's the cargo hard to get? Like, you'd think that it shouldn't be too bad now. And really, it's a little bit better now, because... You know, there's nobody using the hunter. Now we have, like, some high-density commercial here, and that metro station's closed. And there should be nobody down in the metro station, because it's not an operational metro station. Because no, nothing here is. Look here, we got so many people that are using this. Like, it's just out of proportion. Power, like, you know, our highways trying to get in. Now that, you know, there's no toll here, now people should be perfect. See, no car charged. You know, people drive to the toll, but, you know, there's no toll, so you should be more encouraged to let them drive down this road. I, I hope, guys, guys, please tell me that, uh, that that's what's gonna happen. This highway now, especially like right here. Now that we just don't have the public transport. Everyone should be going through here, but no one should be paying any toll. Even if you get stuck in a traffic jam because no one knows which lane they flip and walk. Doesn't matter. We're probably getting even more demand because now I've got like our public transport is like out of here. So now everyone's driving everywhere. Wait. How are 66 people riding buses a week? And how are four people flying into the city? I literally deleted both airports. How are people flying out? How are people taking the train? What are they, like, train hop? What the hell is going on in this city? Where are people taking the... There's... Guys, there's literally no harbor in the city. Is there, is there a harbor that I forgot to delete? There shouldn't be. I deleted like every single harbor. No, there. Right. Okay, so. Why is traffic flow not like decreasing? Like, I don't I don't get it. Why is traffic so bad? Don't ask me. I'm not fixing it now because I, I don't know. We're, we're not really supposed to affect anything besides, you know, what could affect public transport. So we are not allowed to change anything. That would kind of just defy the laws of the experiment here, and we cannot do that. But like a lot of people are Okay, so the people that are actually, you know, taking public transport are, like, few and far in between. There's really no one doing it. Which is good, because that's the point. You're not supposed to be taking public... I don't know how anyone's taking public... I don't see a single cruise ship in these waters. The only people that should be able to get out of the city are, like, you know, trucks that are, you know, cargo trying to do that, you know, cargo trains, obviously our economy's gotta stay. So hopefully nobody's train hopping. Like, there's really no trains that I'm actually super worried about, because I've kinda just fixed a lot of areas. Like, the main things I'd be worried about are, like, making sure that the roundabouts don't get clogged up or anything. Uh, they kinda have. Most importantly, though, is this roundabout that normally just gets really badly clogged. Wait, was it this roundabout, or was it... 
How do you remember which one it is? Our, our population's increasing and nobody's taking... I, I don't know where they're getting those numbers from because nobody is taking public transport at all. And nobody's flying. There's literally hasn't been a plane in the sky for the last two weeks or more than that. So, like, I don't, I don't understand it. Transport that this is the effect on a 300k city. We need to do this effect on a uh, in like when our when our Amsterdam gets to like 30, like when it gets to like a million people or something. We need to like test out public transport and all that and just see how it works. There's apparently a traffic light here, which. I don't know, that's going to affect our control group a lot, so we don't want that. It's just not affecting it. It's like, there's no problems. Everything is just moving freely. There's just more cars on the street, but like, that's the only problem. Every other problem is really, like, minute. Like, there's, you know, no way going to the harbor. Like, just look at this road to the harbor. It's absolutely fucking deserted. And the road out of the harbor is looking at a bunch of trucks. And a few you know, cop cars you know, are leaving the harbor because they, you know, they don't have any public transport to take them out. Now, the tollway is starting to get busy because now... You know, no one's able to take public transport. Now, plenty of people are taking the. Taking public transport. I mean, they're taking the toll road and all that. They're not taking public transport, is what I mean, so. Not taking public transport, I gotta get out somehow, and it's via the road system. Okay, it's we're officially at zero per week for plane travel. Don't ask me how it took this long to get there, considering I deleted both airports in our city. Like, take a look. Like, Plane Spotter's Paradise, like, we should already have closed this a while ago. Oh no, the hospital's on. No, no, the hospital's on fire. Fleet Spotter's Paradise should have been turned off a while ago. The hospital's on. Oh my god. Did you get stuck in any traffic up the way down? Anything? No. How's the village doing? Because now that there's like no public transport. There should be like a lot more cars like trying to get up here and all that, but it doesn't really look like that. It looks like everything's doing fairly well. There's just really no issue. It's like the city is functioning perfectly fine. No traffic jams, no anything. Just clean and green highways. There's really any problem with our highways. There's just this problem, but I can't really fix that right now. Because I'm not really allowed to. Okay, there is a little bit of a problem here, and it's trying, and it's like the area right when you get in the city. So it looks like those are like our major, like backups around here. That's a pretty big backup. So let's just 
check out a couple of these backups. So right here, like near the Ultra Loop. The Ultra Loop is like shuttling a lot of vehicles from right where? Right here. That's the end of the oh this is the end of the Ultra Loop. This is where it ends and then begins. And so there's just a lot of moving traffic through here. Um, you know, trying to get through there. And then a lot of the traffic seems to go through down this ramp here. Which I find a bit interesting, actually, to say the least. <laughs> Suburbs are doing great. Obviously, people got to make their way out. Can't go by a public transport or, or buy, it at, at, by, by the ferry. They gotta drive. Yeah, this is actually starting to cause a bit of an issue right here. It's like we got all this traffic flowing in, and it's cutting off these guys, and it's just really causing a mess. And they're all like merging into these left lanes because they don't want to accidentally get off here, and it's just it's just causing some problems. And, well, the problem leads until, like, right here when everyone just gets off and then the rest of the traffic flows really freely. But then, this is a night. This is a nightmare, actually. Um, we have six lanes of traffic. Everyone's trying to be in these, in these like, right lanes. There's barely anybody up for grabs. And this real estate of the lanes right here. I never really thought about how much money it was like in two weeks. Says, uh, who said that? Taylor Alexander? Maybe this is a bit of an issue. Traffic's backed up from here all the way down to here. And of course, if you live here, you gotta drive. Used to not really be able to, not need to drive. There's a metro station right here that took you into many areas. But now you need to hop on the freeway entrance right down here, or there's also another one right here. If you're, you know, unless you're up here. It's not really a big problem, although there seems to be a little bit of traffic, you know, trying to get on the freeway as well, which is a bit of an issue. Um, otherwise, the traffic flow... Traffic flow is increasing! What the actual crap? Traffic flow is increasing as we go along with this. It's like... What is going on with this city? It's like I deleted the public transport, the city just flipping moves backwards. Technically, I'm not allowed to change that screw. What is up with this? How is traffic flow increasing? Traffic flow is at 75%, whereas it was at 71 with all that public transport. How is this possible? Look at how bad traffic is. Seriously, look at the back of trying to get off here. Whereas, just look at the traffic going this way. It's like, there are a couple areas of, like, congestion. Especially with all these private vehicles not knowing which lane they go. Every, this is backed up of course. That's because we just have a lot of cars driving down here that weren't originally driving down here, so... We can't, like, compare it. We have to just see what happens. Traffic 
traffic flows at 74. What is up with traffic flow? It's like doing better. Why? Traffic flow should be doing worse. Traffic trying to get out is fairly good as well. Can't really complain about him. Okay, now it's the traffic flow is dropping back down. Also, this that's backing up as well, which is kind of weird. Cause I, I don't know why it's weird. Oh yeah, these these streets are these streets are deadlocked pretty bad here. Especially this merge right here isn't doing too hot. Just goes to show you, like, what we need to like. Because it's like we used to have the public transport, but now we don't have public transport. So now traffic's just backing up for miles. Because, you know, they gotta hop in the cars and go somewhere, so. Man, there's so much more traffic. All that, normally this isn't an issue, because we just don't have a lot of traffic. Because we don't have public transport. But now there's so much more, there's so much more road traffic. Now that you know the 4,000 people that were taking public transport aren't taking it anymore, it's, it's going to cause a slight, you know, deviance in the, uh, not deviance, like, de whatever. So it's going to cause a slight change in the traffic, because there's just, you know, a lot more vehicles trying to get from point A to point B. already got streets back up. Like, I'm, I'm not even messing with you guys. Streets are already backing up, and I can tell why, but like, if there's not a lot of traffic, you really don't have to worry about it. Now that there's a lot of traffic, kind of just fix it. Especially this giant intersection, these three lane roads, six lanes in total. There's three on each side. up the rocket at the moment, which obviously we're gonna see this whole thing to be pretty smart and all that. So I'm gonna be doing this experiment for another 10 minutes just to see if like we can get a little bit more uh, you know back up on the highways but I'm like starting to see the effects like there's a lot more, you know, private cars, like, normally, like, if you saw, you know, a private car on the road, like, oh, wow, you were, like, hot stuff, because, like, there, you never saw private cars, but now, let's just compare, like, one of these runs to, like, a run, let's take it from the perspective of a Just to see, like, the difference. Like, look at the amount of private cars that you see on the streets. Just so many. Just look at it. There's an RV. There's a car. There's another RV. We'd 
probably have to run this experiment for like two hours if we actually wanted to see anything like really major. Because obviously we'd have to wait until tourists started coming back like the following few years and they decided to take an RV and they came in masses and all that. And how literally you just see so many cars. This is backed up because you see like all these cars are trying to merge in. gonna keep this up for much longer because at, at, at some point it's just gonna get tiring and pointless to keep this on for any longer. You, you can see the effect. There's a lot of cars and there's no one taking that truck. So if there were 450 people that go to the Chirpex launch site, they all have to drive. It's simple as that. They can't just can't just, you know, go to the metro or take a bus. They have to drive. And that's going to create a lot of traffic because that's 450 cars that are going to have to leave. And, and there's something weird about this game where it's like... There's something weird about this game in which, like, if... We're like... You, you can't have... You, you'll never see, like, four people pile up in the same car. You're only going to see, like, one... So if you have a group of four going to the same... From the from point A to point B, they're not going to hop in one car. They're going to just hop in four separate cars that just follow one behind the other in, like, a conga line. Entrances like backed up or anything. Eh, it doesn't really look like it though. It kind of just looks like they're, you know, they're normal or what they're normally like. And it's not really a big issue. You know, traffic in the suburbs is relatively normal. Just completely dead, I guess. Although, we should ban trucks from this entrance because now they have to like drive through all the suburbs to get over to this area, so I don't know if we want to do this, but like ban trucks from this area of the suburbs so that they don't get off of this exit, they get off here. I don't know, we gotta think about doing that. So that we can like ban all trucks from there and then we can like allow them to go through here. Because they won't really go any other way besides that way. This area is kind of a peaceful area. Right next to a highway, so... We should make so that, that have, so that, you know, that's okay. Now this... This road's completely dead, actually. There's nobody on this road. What, was, what the hell is the point of that 
the road. That road should just get massive deletes. Oh, well, that road's probably going to be good when we start, uh... Start doing other stuff. Like, building over here. Now, I'm thinking of, while we wait for, like, the last, like, part of this, traffic flow is increased. Of course. The traffic flow barely changed. It's just like, you know, traffic flow is the way it was. I mean, only about, what, like... Which percentage of the population? Probably like 1% of the population ever took the subway. Like, everyone else drove. Meanwhile, in New York City, I think it's like... I think in New York City, it's like 55% or 80... It's like either 55% or it's 80% of New Yorkers use the subway on a daily basis or something. And the other 20 New Yorkers either just don't, or they, like, either, like, don't travel on a daily basis, or they, like, drive. I don't know. But most people in New York use the subway. Like, if you, if you just walked up to a random New Yorker, and you asked them, do you take the subway on a daily or almost daily basis, they're gonna say yes. For sure. They will say yes. The harbor area, you know, remain the same. I mean, I don't know why, but there's a little bit more backup than normal for some weird reason. Maybe it's just because the lights stopped getting timed correctly or whatever. Oh, I see why. It's because the toll booth isn't regulating traffic anymore because there's nobody, you, you know, you don't have to pay the toll booth. It's so, like people are sitting in line in the toll booths. Like literally this guy's like waiting to go through the toll booth waiting in a traffic light to go through the toll booth. It's like... Oh no, the crematorium is on the okay. crematorium is on fire. So yeah, the toll booth also had an effect. Because like, now there's just a lot more traffic in this area. Traffic's kind of starting to deteriorate a little bit. So... I, I, there, there was an effect after 40 minutes of you know, doing this experiment. Traffic started backing up again in like the areas, especially you know, since the tollway isn't really a tollway anymore. Now everyone's actually driving down there. People are taking it to get around and all that. So in a little, in just a sec, we're gonna do our conclusion statement and like explain like the hell just happened during this experiment now no, no one's using public transport now we should be able to spew the results of this experiment so we're going to start that portion of the of the video right now so this is the conclusion statement what did we learn from making delitos with all the public transport lines well for starters it kind of made the city the trains train line a little bit quieter because there weren't really a lot of trains on the line there were no there's no cruise ships in the harbors or in the rivers because no one's taking cruise ships um with the, removing the toll booths caused a lot more congestion on this road particularly because now no one's trying to like avoid it everyone's just driving on it so there's a little slightly more congestion on this road but not by a lot there's a lot more people, like, trying to get through this way. I don't know which way. Oh, no, that's because there's a traffic light here. That's why it's so bad. That's why it's so bad. Yeah, so... There's also a lot more traffic taking our uh, Amsterdam tollway. Because... Just keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind that we deleted all the tolls, so this isn't really a tollway. This is just a skyway that just takes a beautiful route above our city. So, at, let's just continue the conclusion statement. There's a lot of more people actually, you know, taking toll roads, so... Now that that's the case, there's a lot more congestion on this because this is an on-ramp that leads from the tollway. So there's a lot of traffic there trying to get on that. 
there's a lot more traffic going, you know, certain ways to the harbor. There's really no one trying to, like, avoid going to the harbor for toll reasons. So traffic's, like, backed up to the toll. And there's also just a lot of congestion here, because, well, that happened. The suburbs didn't really change a lot. The airport areas didn't really change a lot. Um, highways, of course, we saw a lot more uh, private vehicles on our highways, because, of course, the, um, I think right now, the, uh, because we took all the public transport away, so now we're just driving, and it's a real pain and all that, so, yeah, screw you, public transport. Um, another thing that happened was this road just got really backed up, this road and this road, just all these roads just got completely, uh, deadlocked, and they, they're barely moving, and, yeah, that area didn't really get changed a lot, the roundabouts, Slightly suffered, but not, you know, super much suffering on the roundabouts. Roundabouts handled pretty well. Harbor, not so much. As you know, there's just so many people trying to get in and out of the harbor. Now that it's fairly insane. And, yeah, office area, got a little bit of traffic, but not really, and obviously... This highway, of course, always has a lot of traffic, so you always expect there to be fairly a lot of traffic. This is a big intersection in our city, and we have to construct more highways in our city because, you know, traffic kind of just not handle itself. There's just too many people crowding on one highway, whereas we got to just see where people are trying to go, perhaps create more highways. But I think that's about it. For this time, guys, uh, take care. Um, actually, first, let's just reload my save so I don't forget to reload my save. Because I'm not going to appreciate it if I don't remember to reload my save file. Now, we're going to also just compare everything that just happened to what happened just then when we actually... You know did the experiment because of course we saw a lot of that you know private vehicle traffic but if you go into the original city that doesn't have any of the that has all the public transport you'll notice there's a lot less vehicles traffic is a lot more free flow there's a lot less congestion getting on here you know traffic's not backing up all the way to here uh, traffic's also not super bad through here because you know public transport although traffic still is backing up there but it's not as major it is still, still fairly major but yeah just like look at the few there's just so few cars like remember how in in our uh, non you know there was no public transport well, now with our public transport systems, there's just so much more traffic. So I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. We're back to our normal Amsterdam. This is the Amsterdam you know and love. Where there's not traffic backing up to the toll booth. It's a little bit less. There's a lot fewer people taking the tollway going this way as well. So yeah, that's that's that, that's a wrap, guys. So I'll see you in the I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.